you are, my name is Selva. Welcome to Play Me Sims and welcome to today's speed build. I hope you are all doing well and having such a fantastic day. So today we are building in the world of Winnenberg and this time we're building a summer family home or Winnenberg summer home. I'm not really sure which way I will call this house yet, but it's either of those two. And yes, it's um it's not summer yet. I mean on some part of the world, like on the northern hemisphere, I believe it's going to be summer in a few weeks. But on the southern hemisphere, it will be um, winter or maybe it's winter yet. I'm not sure um, because I live in the middle part of the world, which I have neither of those. So I have no idea. And here in my country, at least where I live, the weather is quite strange. I mean. Two weeks ago, it was like lazy hot, at least 40 degrees Celsius by day and at night, it's about like 32 or 35 degrees Celsius and that was so crazy. I had such hard time while um, running some errands and stuff because it was too hot for me to function by day. So um, yeah, it was quite challenging moment and lately, it's been very cloudy. I mean, the past, I don't know, like a little over a week has been cloudy both by day and night and sometimes we have like very heavy rain which is quite interesting because normally by this time it should be um, like hot season I won't call it as a summer because um, we only have summer or like hot weather or basically like blazing flaming hot season and downpouring rain season so we have just those two and i'm not even going to call this a summer because i don't think it's summer but anyway um today we are building a two bedroom two bathroom house in winnenberg of course as i just told you and um i'm not sure if this quite holiday home enough but i just wanted to build something that's not meant for like a big family more like a i don't know, like an airbnb kind of type of build and i just love this build so very much i had hard time building this and i actually um was inspired by a pic that i found on pinterest as usual it's not like a full house front facade pic but it's more like angled on the front porch and i basically like wing it from that if that makes sense sometimes i have um those type of inspirations and most of the times i had hard time to do the rest of the build but on this build somehow it was very easily i don't understand why but um this is the living space so the living space is basically like a one giant space it's not that huge though but it's quite like a decent size for both living kitchen and dining and i know it's a bit weird to have like the dining room once you enter the house but i couldn't figure out any other floor plan that works best so hopefully you're okay with that and the other reason was i wanted to make the fireplace align with the chimney so that makes it a bit harder too so hopefully this layout work okay for you and i just love the living space so much this room over here it's quite um lush but not like too lush it's um it's decent for this type of like quote-unquote airbnb type of a build even though this is not a rental build i upload this to the gallery as a residential and that's because whenever i upload my build like a rental build to the gallery it will upload it as a residential um i don't know why it just happened on my game like that so um I believe I did put, oh yeah, I put the chest table over here because I couldn't even remember the last time I put chest table on my residential belts. Maybe like a few weeks ago, the last time I put them, but I don't know. I'm not really sure on that. So I decided just to put chest table because it's such a great addition to level up your sim scale and i just really like that idea and um i combined this not art deco what is that oh decorated the max kit sofa and chairs with 
um, eco lifestyle brown coffee table. I think it looks really cute together. Um, I tried to make this cell a bit more rustic as the lot name, but I mean this house is supposed to look a bit more modern, but with some like traditional touch, if that makes sense. So I'm not sure if there's a style for I mean an interior style for this type of a belt other than contemporary um, I'm not an interior designer so I have no clue about that but if you know something please do educate me and um, I use quite a bunch of packs on this belt not that many but still a lot one of the packs that I think it's quite necessary for this house is vampire which is quite strange because normally I do not built with vampire mostly because the style of the pack is not for me it's a great pack but it's just not for me and on this build I use the brick wallpaper from vampire all over the house um, on the exterior I use the like pinky reddish one but on the interior I use the more creamy beige one and I love them so very much I think if I had to pick one item from vampire that I love the most um, or I can't live without or can't build without it will be the brick wallpaper it's just so pretty and the flooring the wood flooring is also so pretty too and um, I thought of using the like diagonal wood flooring from vampire but I thought this house needs to have some stones for the flooring so I decided just to combine the get together one with con tree kitchen or cottage kitchen the kit the kitchen kit um, and it looks so pretty I just love this build so very much it didn't take me that long to finish this whole build it only took me a little less than two hours which is quite surprising even for me I'm a fast builder but I didn't realize how fast it was for me to finish this whole house so I'm still even surprised by now and um, as I mentioned, this house has two bedrooms and two bathrooms and one of the bathroom is the master suite bathroom and this is the master bathroom so it's a long and skinny one but it's all functional. I play tested everything and um, I just love this build so very much and hopefully you feel the same too and um, sorry if I ramble too much. It's because it's not even 9 a.m. in the morning on Sunday and I have done this voiceover three times the first time was failed because um, I totally forgot to hit the um, record button on my Adobe audition and um, the second one was interrupted by my little brother and I couldn't even remember the last topics I talked so I had to redo it and this is the third time so that's that and I haven't even had coffee yet so my brain isn't working as it's supposed to be so if i said weird things in the beginning or before this i am truly sorry so anyway this is the master bedroom and i just really love how it looks like i mean yes it's quite uncommon i would say to see the desk because it's basically near the windows and you can see it from the outside but i managed to put some landscaping to kind of hide it a little bit and um, hopefully it's okay but we just basically finished with the interior now and we're working on the exterior so we have a tiny pool it's not that tiny but it's quite small and I believe I only used the landscaping from the back of get together I'm pretty sure because um, I kind of filtered that in with the filter thingy and use a lot of live edit objects because it makes the build more well blended with the world and I just really love that and um, the terrain paints that I use is from Cottage Living I believe I really love these terrain paints so very much it's so pretty and I love pink so it's a win-win for me and um, I also did put a shower on the near the um, pool area so I thought that if your sims need to be showered maybe after they went into the pool even though it's not 
necessary because it won't affect your sims like we are in real life um, but I think it's a great addition and we have a grill, we have a sink, we have a bunch of seating area with cheeses and yeah I think that's it I'm not sure what else after this but I think that's all so if you'd like to know about this belt, this is already available on the gallery. My ID is Alfatiera, or you can find it under the hashtag PlamySims. You can also click the link in the description box below that will bring you to my coffee website. It'll have two different links. The first one is the gallery download link, and the other one is the tray false link from Silva Share. So yeah, I think that's it. I really hope you have enjoyed this video, and if you do, Please make sure to hit the thumbs up button, also make sure to be subscribed to the channel if you haven't already and if you'd like to, you can also ring the bell so be notified every single time I upload a new video. So yeah, I'm going to go right now. Thank you so very much for hanging out with me today and supporting me. I hope you have the very best day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!